Hello students, we are back again in our Mathematics class. I hope you are well at home and you are enjoying our online classes. So today we are going to learn about the same chapter shapes and design. So today we are going to discuss about the 3D shape. So first of all let us recall what we have learned in the previous class. We have learned about ray, point, line, line segment and also we have learned about 2D shape. So what are the 2D shapes? Yes, 2D shapes are the shapes which are flat. Means flat shapes are called 2D shapes. 2D shapes having two dimensions, length as well as wide. See, I have given here one image of a rectangle. What kind of image it is? It is, a, it is a image of a rectangle. And rectangle having two dimensions. One is length and another one is wide. Length indicates how much long it is. How much long it is. And wide indicates how much wider it is. So, here... We can understand that 2D shape has two dimensions. One is length, another one is wide. And 2D shape can be drawn in the paper. 2D shape cannot be touched or hold. It cannot be hold in our hands. So we cannot hold the 2D shape in our hands. So let us move on to our next topic, today's topic that is 3D shape. So what are the 3D shapes? 3D shape means Solid objects are called 3D shapes. So, 3D shapes means the solid figure. Solid objects are called 3D shapes. We can touch or we can hold the 3D objects in our hands. Like, the, what are the objects we can see around us? Like a water bottle, like a table, like a book like a pen like anything that are the 3d shapes so 3d from the name you can understand that 3d 3 indicates 3 and d indicates dimension so 3d shapes having three dimensions one is length second one is wide and third one is height length indicates how much longer it is height wide indicates how much wider it is indicates how much depth it is. So this is 3D shapes. 3D shapes means a shape or a solid object which you can hold or which you can touch. So now we will talk about the shape 3D shape cube. See I have given here one image. Observe the image. First see there are length, wide and move on to our next topic that is properties of 3D shapes. So let us recall what we have discussed in 2D shape. There are also in some properties of 2D shape and that are the vertices, the sides and the angles. Now today we are, we are going to learn about the properties of 3D shapes. 3D shapes shapes having surface, edges and vertices. Surface. What is surface? A face is that it can be of two types. Flat surface or curved surface. Flat surface or curved surface of a 2D, 3D solid. So, edges. What are the edges? What is called edge? Edge means a line segment. Where two surfaces meet, that is called edge. It can be straight or curved. Vertex. But what is vertex? Where two or more edges meet at a point, that is called vertex. More than one vertex is called vertices. That is the verb, the plural form of vertex. Here I have given one image of a cube, and see the vertex the face and the edge. So today let's learn different kind of shapes. Cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, sphere. 
What kind of shapes we are going to learn? We are going to learn about cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone and sphere. So, let us first learn about cube. Today, here we are going to count the number of faces, number of edges and number of vertices. And also the type of faces and which shape match with this 2D shape. See, if you want to better understand, please take a hold of dice in your hand because the dice shape is similar with cube. Means dice is the example of a cube. Also there are another example that is ice cube. So number of faces. How many faces are there in a cube? There are six faces. There are six faces. And how many edges are there in a cube? There are twelve edges. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here I have given the number also in the edges. And here are eight vertices. What are the vertices? There are yellow pointing indicates the vertex. Vertex means the point. The type of face. Here all faces are plane surface and all edges are of equal length. All edges are of equal length. And this cube 2D shape match with square. So let us move on to our next topic that is cuboid. Number of faces of a cuboid is same as cube. It is 6. Number of edges of a cuboid is 12. It is also same with cube. Number of vertices of a cube is 8. It is also similar with the cube. Type of face. What kind of what type of faces are there? There are plane faces. All faces are plane faces. No top faces. Shape of the faces. The shape of face is rectangular shape. All shapes are rectangular. And the example means which shape, which objects are similar with cuboid shape that is very easy. That is brick. So many you can find so many cuboidal shapes around us. See here I have shown the parcel point for vertices and the blue uh, numbering shown the number of edges. See here all edges are not equal length. We have seen in view that all edges are of equal length but here it is not or same. So let us move on to our next 3D shape that is cylinder. Cylinder yes you can relate to your kitchen room. Yes it is gas cylinder. From gas cylinder, gas cylinder is, is a example of a cylinder. See number of faces. What, how many faces are there? There are 3 faces. One is curve face, another one is plane surface. Number of edges. How many edges are there? There are two edges. See, there are not two straight edges. There are two circular edges. Okay. And number of vertices. There, are, there is no vertex. There is no vertex. Examples of cylinder is gas cylinder, cold drink can, pipe, glass, etc. Candle also you can say the burning candle. So these are the examples of a cylinder. And see I have given here the image of the cylinder and which uh, indicates the flat surface in both sides. I have shown here one flat surface in the top. And in the bottom also there is also a flat surface that is plane surface and in the side this is the curved surface. And as plane surface and curved surface meet so it, it offers the circular edge. 
now let us move on to our next topic that is corn corn yes the very delicious very delicious image is coming here that is ice cream cone cone means here the number of faces are two one is curved face and another one is plain face curved face is in the south side and plain face is in the bottom so number of faces how many faces are there there is also one face and that is circular edge now the number of vertices here only one vertex only one vertex see the image image in the image that is showing that one vertex that is in the top so the examples of a cone is ice cream cone birthday cap traffic cone etc so these are the examples of a cone so cone number of faces are two one is curved face another one is plain face and edges is one that is circular edge and the circular face meets with the plain face so now now let us move on to our next topic that is sphere next is the shape that is sphere sphere is like a football yes round shape football number of faces is one and that is also curved face number of edges is zero number of vertices is also zero because we cannot find the in any edges and we cannot find any vertices here so sphere is the example of a sphere is Ball or any kind of ball shape, round shape like arc, moon. These are also the examples of sphere. So sphere has no uh, no edges, no vertices. It is it has only one face that is also curved face. So the examples of sphere is football, ping pong ball, basketball, badminton ball, any kind of ball, and also. Art, moon. These are also the examples of a sphere. So sphere has no edges, no vertices, and one part of it appears in a sphere. Now let us differentiate or relate 2D and 3D shapes. See, in 2D shapes there is no height and it's a flat figure. In 3D shapes, what we have done, there is a there is height and it's a solid figure. And what kind of it? What kind of 2D shapes we have learned? Triangle, square, rectangle, circle. And what kind of three uh, D shapes we have learned? Cube, cone, cylinder, sphere, and cuboid. So the similar similarities are the length and the width. Means two D shapes having length and width, as well as three D shapes also having length and width. And one more thing is extra in two D shape that is height. So two D shape has no height, but three D shape has height. Two D shape is a flat figure. Three D shape is a solid figure. We have learned discussed about the two D shape uh, triangle, square, uh, rectangle, circle, and we have discussed about um, different kind of three D shape that are cube, cone, cylinder, sphere, cuboid, and the similarities are the length and the width. Just observe the image of the two comparison of the relation. What you can say? Just observe it carefully. So let us summarize what we have learned today. Today we have discussed about different kinds of traditions. What are the different kinds of traditions we have learned? We have learned about 
you cuboid, ear, cylinder, and cone. How many cases are there in a cube? There are six cases, twelve edges, eight corners or vertices, and all cases are plain cases and all plain cases shaped like square. So this is matched with square. So next. Cuboid. There are six faces, twelve edges, and eight corners. And all the faces are rectangular faces. All the faces are rectangular faces and plain faces. In a sphere, there are, there is only one faces, and that is also curved face. No edges, no corners. And if we roll the curved face, then we will get the now cylinder in a cylinder there are three faces two edges and that is also circular edges and no corners or no vertices in cone there is there are two faces one circular edge and no corners 